man. Put the city on my shoulder blades and molded ways. Focus on the future when it's rose to pain. Hey everyone, my name is Justin. I'm Jonathan. We're one of your event partners for Mecca Mayhem. And we're here to go over some of the rules for the event as well as answer a few popular Q&As that we've seen around. Now you might be wondering, why aren't the head referees here uh, for this meeting? And that is because currently in Calgary we have a cold snap of negative 40 degrees. Negative 40 degrees both Celsius and Fahrenheit. That's how cold it is. So the referees are not here in person. But we've had online meetings throughout the planning of this event and we all agree that this is how the event should be scored and how rules should be determined. Hopefully it's not minus 40 when you come to Mecca Mayhem in February, but you should still pack a winter jacket. First of all, I want to remind everyone of rules G1 and 2. Uh, please remember to treat everyone with respect and this includes other teams, coaches, volunteers and event organizers. Uh, as well as remember that VEX is a student-centered program, so uh, we want all the students to be doing the work, working on the robots, and all that jazz. If you happen to have any questions about a ruling, or perhaps a referee made a call that you don't really agree with, as per Rule T3, team members are permitted to appeal a ruling with the head referee while they're still at the Alliance station. So, if you see a call that's made and you disagree with it, make sure the head referees know before they move on to the next stage. For instance, at the end of Autonomous, make sure the referees know. Or at the end of the match, make sure that they know before they submit that score. Yeah, we won't be looking at any video recordings because it just takes too long and it's not part of the rules. Again, coaches, team members that aren't a part of the drive team or any adults are not allowed to provide input on that, those rulings. And just a heads up, the decisions that the head referees make are final. As with all VEX games, scoring is done after the, the match is finished, so once the score is all tallied up, uh, the scorekeepers will show each team the score. If you do have a question, uh, please let the scorekeeper know and he'll tag down the head referee who will take a look at the, uh, the final score. Keep in mind that once the score is submitted, uh, it is final. Now let's go over some specific game rules for VRC Over Under and how our head referees will be making those decision calls. The first one, of course, is match loading. How do we properly match load these tri balls into the field correctly and safely? Well, we want to make sure that the referees see a clear effort for only one tri ball crossing the barrier of the arena at a time. We'll put on an example right now on the screen. Again, you can see in the video that the teams are putting in one tri ball at a time after another. We do not want to see teams rushing, throwing tri-balls or imparting any sort of velocity onto these tri-balls as they are being put into field and put into play. Throughout the competition, we may see an effort for teams to block uh, the opposing alliance's tri-ball match loading. So again, please be careful when you put your hands into the arena that you're making sure you're doing so safely. Competitors, I know it's easy to get enthusiastic and excited during the match, but incorrect match loading will void your skills attempt. So please make sure you follow the rules. Now let's move on to possession. What does robot possession actually mean? For most robots, you'll see a design where robots are designed to push the try balls into goals. Again, the referees and inspectors will be making sure that these pushers are not concave. Holding, trapping, or pinning of any kind will be called out by the referees throughout the match. If you feel like you're being held, make sure you call out to the referee. Um, you can scream, you can wave, as long as you get his attention. Uh, and then once he sees and confirms that it is being, that your robot is being held, he will start counting down. If you're not being held, the referee will tell you and inform you that holding is not happening. If you are trapping another robot, you have five seconds to back off. Once you do back off, you must back off one full field tile's worth and back off for at least five seconds before you can engage again. If you engage in trapping before then, the countdown will continue from when you initially released. For autonomous period, there are some violations to be careful of. Uh, firstly, you want to make sure that you do not cross the autonomous line, uh, that you stay in the zone that you started in, and that there is no match loading. Uh, be careful of contact with other robots and uh, any violations that you feel uh, might be uh, happening during autonomous will be covered by a case-by-case -case basis. Let's talk about my favorite part of this game, climbing. As per SG-11, you cannot touch the team's opposing alliance if they are contacting the climbing bar. 
So please be careful when you're in that area during those last 30 seconds because it may result in a major or minor violation depending on the severity. You might get DQ'd. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just be safe. Yeah. So the nature of this game is very interactive. You're going to be bumping around a lot, uh, but we're going to be looking out for tipping. Intentional tipping will result in a violation. Again, this is a very contact heavy and defense heavy game. So please be careful when you're driving your robots and be aware that your robots will have contact throughout these matches. Friendly reminder to plug in the controller on the left or right ports. Do not plug the controller into the center. It will not work. So just a quick reminder that when you start your match, each team starts in their own respective offensive zones highlighted here by red and blue. When you start, make sure your robot is touching the tiles, not touching anything else, as well as contacting your preload. Your preload is the red or blue colored tri-ball respective to the alliance that you are on. So just be aware that there is a game manual update coming out on January 30th. Uh, so the things that we say in this video, if the new update addresses a change to that, please know that we are following the change and not what happened in this video. Make sure to check out the Q&A because uh, there's constant answers from the GDC regarding different rulings, different callings, and how the referees will be basing their rulings at the event. All right, so that wraps up our video. Uh, if we missed anything, we'll be talking about it in the actual driver's meeting, so please make sure you are there. Other than that, have fun, stay safe, stay warm. Uh, it's going to be a great event. Anyways, make sure to come see Justin and I during the event. We'll be happy to say hi, and uh, we look forward to seeing you at Mech Mayhem 2024. Good luck, have fun, and have fun. <laughs> and have fun. <laughs> All right, see ya.